Why are ISFPs more secretive than INFPs? Dun, 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 coming up in this video. Dun, 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 the suspense is killing me. What's up, everybody? What's up, legend? It's your boy Sherman here from Geek Psychology, where I help geeks, gamers, and creatives to play life better. In order to play life better, I feel that leveraging your class, leveraging your character type is the best way of going about it, because there's so much information packed in there. And so that's one reason why we talk about personality type a lot in this channel. Um, so I saw this question on Quora, why are ISFPs more secretive than INFPs? And I wanted to give my insight and my input into it. Um, and hopefully it resonates with you if you're an ISFP or an INFP, or if you know one and you're like, man, what is this? What is this cat doing? What's this person doing? You know, and you're just stalking them secretively. <laughs> Let's just jump right into it. One of the bigger things about personality type is that each cognitive function, I know if you're not too deep into that stuff, this might be a little confusing, but it'll be okay. Um, each cognitive function, each of the like little facets of the personality type um, are not just in a silo. It's not just completely separate, right? They work together as a system. And so like you can still have some of the same pieces, some of the same characters or dynamics within your personality type, and yet they be expressed in different ways because of the, the spices, the flavoring, the different cognitive functions that you put in there. Um, so I'm an intuitive, I'm an INFP, which is why I just went into all those little mini metaphors and <laughs> similes and things like that. Introverted feeling, the dominant function for both of these, ISFP and INFP, is what I call the resonating empath, okay? This is about tapping into your heart, your conscience, um, your values, what's important to you and, and kind of upholding that and sticking to that and standing for that. Um, so we share this, right? And this is, this is it's a very private function, first of all. Um, and it's making evaluations based off how you feel about something, right? Is this a good thing or is this a bad thing, right? And that internal evaluation can take some time. And also, it's not something that we like to really just share one because well we spend so long trying to figure it out that if somebody else kind of like slaps it away i just cracked my shoulder when i did that if somebody else slaps it away or just doesn't you know doesn't like it says something bad or whatever or it reflects poorly on who we are then we have to do all this internal processing again and it causes some struggles it causes some issues and it's exhausting and also there aren't it, it's in a place where there are not a lot of words for it. There's not a lot of language to it, right? We can't just pinpoint a specific thing because it's a it's a kinesthetic feeling. It's within us, right? It's we can describe it in certain ways. We can paint a picture to express it or do some music or something like that, but it's like you can't just pinpoint it and say specifically what it is. And so that also causes us hesitation, right? Um, and it's kind of this open wound as well where like if we expose it then then all the pains can come in instead of just keeping it held and, and protected, like by putting a Band-Aid over it or something like that, right? If we expose it, if we start expressing, then all these things happen. So then what's the reason here for why ISFPs are more secretive than INFPs? So in the second function, right, we're going into this, this growth point, the edge, the mentor of your life for an ISFP within you that's uh, the engaging adventurer, right? That's the aspect of yourself that is like, I'm going to just be in the moment, right? I'm going to turn up my senses. I'm going to ride the experiences of life and fully merge with life as it happens um, in the now, in the present. And for INFPs, it's it's about exploring ideas. It's the innovating explorer. It's about like, I'm, I'm going to connect these dots and, and play over here and, you know, explore all these different possibilities in idea space. For ISFPs, extroverted sensing, the engaging adventure is pushing you to express things. It's pushing you to take actions, not necessarily 
figure out how to communicate it linguistically to somebody else or express it through through metaphor or something like that. It's like I'm going to show you how I feel. I'm going to do actions that express, you know, what's going on inside of me. Um, you know, in a relationship, it's more like the love language of acts of service, right? It's, it's doing things to express this stuff instead of talking about it. And a lot of people have really poor sensory acuity, which is like watching and noticing like the, the color shifts in your cheeks and different gestures and different, like your posture and stuff like that. People really are just in their own world most of the time. Me especially because I'm an INFP and the real world is just way in some other place. I'm not there most of the time. And so it's, it's hard for a lot of people to pay attention to other people and notice the, the small tells right, which I think ISFPs give off a lot, um, but they don't necessarily express it and say, this is how I'm feeling about this as much. Um, and INFP is like, I, I want to communicate all this. I want to get these ideas out there into a way that other people can play with them and use them as memes, essentially, to understand and, and put their own experiences into that uh, picture right and and understand how the infp is feeling through metaphor or story or something like that so that the other person can understand and that takes more talking that takes more expressing and i think infps have uh, a bit more of a a drive to understand and express themselves in that way and another reason why isfps might be more secretive than infps is the relief the tertiary function for isfps is introverted intuition for infps is introverted sensing so for isfps introverted intuition is like this visioning mystic aspect of yourself it's this is where you connect to the unconscious mind this is where you connect to the the patterns and the probabilities and the possibilities and, and idea space and seeing how things are going to play out into the future or kind of looking at it in different ways and things like that. This is where you get like um, a deeper sense of connection to the world or to time and things like that, but not in the present moment, right? This is when you, you know, you distance yourself and, and go into a meditative type trance-like state and stuff like that. This causes a bit of trouble for a lot of ISPs. Um, and that's because this is like, it's a weakness. Um, and it, it kind of shows you that like, people are doing things behind your back is one way that it really, it starts to like express itself. It's like all these connections, like people are talking about you behind your back. Right? There are these conspiracies. I know that's more of like an ISTP thing, but I'm sure you have your own versions of it. Um, a bit of paranoia, right? Just wondering and worrying about what other people are doing and what the meaning of all this stuff is. And I think that kind of like expresses itself in ways that makes you want to stay secretive. And I think because that's there, a lot of times you don't want to fully express yourself. You don't want to connect with everybody and, and say all these things because like, what, what will they do? What might they do behind your back? What are the possible things that could come out of this? I know as an introvert, you know, doing something, expressing something, you know, putting something out into the world and then it going chaotic and all these problems happening you're just like why did i even do that in the first place why did i put that out there because now that's something that i have to deal with and i don't want to deal with it i don't want to deal with anything um, more in the outside world especially something that i've put out there so limiting yourself in terms of expressiveness because you don't want to have to deal with you know the other peopling interactions and things like that is one reason why you might be more secretive as an ISFP. Um, INFPs are more like, homely is not the right word. <laughs> That's not like, um, we, we just want to be in our house, right? We don't want to connect out there. Like if somebody comes over, that might be cool. You know, we can just kind of chill. We might not talk too much, but like, it's more of like, I don't want to go out there in, in changing um, locations and things like that. I just want to be where I am and, and kind of just be comfortable here, physical comfort instead of ideational 
comfort. And for ISFPs, introverted intuition is going to naturally kind of just pick up these patterns of things that are going on around you. And you don't really have any control over that, right? It's an, it's an irrational function. I'm not saying you are irrational, but sensing and intuiting are irrational in the sense that it's just kind of what shows up, right? It's not your decision point. It's well, now I see this thing. Now I'm exposed to this thing. It's like you have your camera and something crosses in front of the camera. Well, that's that's there now, right? It wasn't like you intentionally chose that to be in there because it's, it's just exposed, right? Feeling and thinking are more like the editing program. Right? They're the ones that you're like, no, I'm going to adjust this. I'm going to change this. I'm going to you know, adapt it and, and things like that. Edit it. Um, but yeah, sensing and intuiting are just like, you're just exposed to that stuff. And for an ISFP, if you just get exposed to these patterns for you know why things are going this way and the meaning of all these things on a deeper level, and you have this kind of open wound of introverted feeling that kind of this private nature you don't want to share it necessarily with everybody because it can cause some other problems and there's not a lot of language to it then it just kind of makes sense to not express it as much for an infp we kind of get stuck in um just wanting to keep things the same not wanting to change things wanting to keep things stable the stabilizing guardian is the one for the infp and it's like yeah, I, I'm, I don't want to get new experiences because then I'm stuck with those new experiences on things that I have to reflect over and ruminate over and review and stuff like that. Like those then kind of pop up into our mind, those captured experiences instead of the patterns and the connections of the world in the idea space. So if this video was helpful, please tickle, tickle the like button. <laughs> tickle it and uh share the video give it to somebody that you think it could help understand themselves at a deeper level and then watch this video up here in that order tickle the like button share the video then watch this video keep up the lifelong questing good luck have fun peace